this is perhaps the best time to actually adopt a model. I mean, even though, uh, you know, indulge me for a while calling it a model, uh, because, you know, with the social media, there is a lot of information. Yes. There's a lot of information being Absolutely. generated, right? So, therefore, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm guessing that the feedback system would be, would, would, would work well. Absolutely. Because you've got so much of information that's coming in. Absolutely. So, th this system is all, this learn while doing and adjust system is, is always, as I said, perhaps the better way of doing it. Uh, but this is perhaps a particularly good time to be doing it mm -hmm. because you see media historically was a one way now you have a two way media mm -hmm. which is social media now yes there is a lot of noise in there there is a lot of trolling and other things but in my view this is a very very important part of the feedback loop mm -hmm. because it gives you real time feedback to whether something is a good idea or a bad mm -hmm. idea and you will see that again mm -hmm. yourself have seen major decisions of the government have been adjusted to social media feedback. And people of the old school will see that, oh, as that is capitulation. In our worldview, on the other hand, this is the perfectly the right way to go about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The same thing, by the way, is true. There's lots of other real-time feedback. So there is feedback coming through satellite photography. Mm -hmm. There's feedback real-time coming from your phone. Mm -hmm. and it's uh, from uh, electronic uh, payment systems. Mm -hmm. So the old system that we have to do one survey every few years, and that data will determine how everything is run. You know, we need to change out of that. There is real-time data. Since this is a feedback loop-based system, we need to move to taking all those big data very, very seriously. Is it possible to move then? Perhaps I'm thinking, you know, I'm also ideating with you, like instead of having this one annual economic survey, perhaps quarterly surveys. No, no, you know, no, please. Perhaps... That would make people, We will have no, <laughs> not, a book to do. not a particularly good thing to do. Okay. Because remember, the act of doing it, it's not about taking feedback. You have to actually physically write it right, out. Right. Uh, so... Uh, so, yes, once in a while putting it all together is mm. a good idea, but not doing it too frequently, uh, then, then uh, it uh, detracts from doing actually the policy making. Right. So then, uh, you know, somewhere you're also telling me that policy making in general has been very rigid so far. Yes. And, and, and this is not just an Indian problem, by mm. the way. I mean, this is, I'm describing a global phenomena. I'm describing this, it's Indian manifestation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you went back to the, uh, to the, the, the crisis mm -hmm. that you had, now, it wasn't as if before 2007, the world's banks were not, or the capital markets were not regulated. They were heavily regulated, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. and yet the crisis happened. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of thinking process that, oh no, mm -hmm. we need mm -hmm. to add more regulation. Mm -hmm. uh, my view is, if, in fact, that this detracts from another very, very important thing that regulators need to do, which is supervision. Mm -hmm. You see, people think of regulation and supervision as being some sort of simple substitutes. They are not. They are actually different things and very often there is a major trade-off between them. The regulation by definition is a rigid set of rules that people are everybody is supposed to follow. Etched Some, in stone. Etched only. in stone. Yeah. Think of it as the rules of cricket. Okay. But supervision is also important. The umpires are still needed. Now if the rules are very, very complicated, are too complicated, umpires will not be able to function. Even the players will not be able to function. Mm -hmm. Right. So adding more and more regulation actually detracts from better supervision. Mm -hmm. You need both and a balance between them. The rules have to be simple enough that everybody understands them mm -hmm. and the regulator, whichever field, whether it's a central bank or uh, regulator in some sector, mm -hmm. it's a simple enough where all the players and the regulator can watch it. It's simple enough that <clears throat> what is going on is clear mm -hmm. and its application and enforcement is also easy to do. Mm -hmm. And the supervision part of it is a very, very serious part of it. You cannot, you know, uh, simply so India has had one. more of regulation, less of supervision. Yes, and this is no, it's not just India. This is global phenomena okay. right now. Okay. That we are creating ever heavier, thicker stacks mm. of regulation. If Basel II didn't work, let's include Basel III, and somebody will come up with Basel IV. Uh, this is basically like thinking about the world like, I don't know, the Great Wall of China approach mm. to solving problems. Mm -hmm. If, you know, 200 kilometers of walls didn't work, 2,000 kilometers will walk, mm. the walls will definitely keep the Mongols out. Mm. And we know from history, it has absolutely no impact on the Mongols who mm -hmm. simply go around it. Mm -hmm. So this is why these rigid solutions to fluid problems mm -hmm. um, is intrinsically a, a, a wrong way of going about it. Mm. How are you applying these uh, in your capacity as the principal economic advisor in the government? Okay, so let me give you an uh, example which... <clears throat> which um, you know, I've been involved in, in some, some ways, um, is the idea of cleaning up the bank NPA problem. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> the, 
um, one solution was that since the current machine didn't work, you design a new machine called the bad bank and hand the problem to the new machine and hopefully the new machine, if you've designed it correctly, mm -hmm. was going to do a better job of resolving them. Now, since I'm not a great believer in machines, I would think that there is another way of doing it, which is you take these in and try and resolve them much more directly rather than hope that some other machine will do it. If one machine didn't work, it's likely another machine will also not work. Mm. What you do, in fact, is directly deal with the problem and begin to resolve them rather than warehouse them somewhere. Okay. Now, the, the, how do you resolve them? You take them. One of the ways, obviously, being discussed is mm. the bankruptcy process and the NCLT. And everybody, when you point this out, says, oh, it's an untested thing. Now, <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to test this for several years and have a perfect NCLT and then maybe you can uh, try and use these to resolve the NPA problems mm -hmm. or do what I would argue using a feedback loop system. Load that new system with something and let's find out if it works. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, it's not like this is a one-time design and can do nothing about it. You go and fix that NCLT process, fix the bankruptcy process mm -hmm. and make it work again. Maybe it won't work a second time. Mm. But, but, but how do you see the process working so far? I mean, in your so, so far, assessment, we've 12 been, cases. Yes, yeah, so there are 12 cases that was challenged in the court. Yeah. One of them was challenged in the court. The so court has thrown it out, dismissed. <clears throat> so now we'll go into uh, hopefully the, the but process. But once this, will there be more cases that you yes, will Yes, there will to? be. And I think we have discussed about some 50 odd cases that are the, uh, will be done through this particular process. Mm -hmm. um, 12 have already in process. Let's see what happens out of this. Mm -hmm. now. Do not ask me what will happen next, mm -hmm. because the whole point about this approach is I do not know. Mm -hmm. um, I will respond as I figure out what happens. I have some idea what are the right. possible outcomes, mm -hmm. and I have thought through some possible responses to those, mm -hmm. but I cannot extend to tell you which particular path will go. Right, right. So you were personally not in favor of the bad bank idea then? No, I was not. I right. was not in favor of it because, as I mentioned to you, it is the old machine approach to solving problems. Sanjay Sayal, thank you for the conversation. Absolute thank you. pleasure. Thank you so much. Pleasure.